Hey everybody, this is a version of What's Up Westfield, but a special version, version with a special guest of mine. It's actually the What's Up Bubba. Hey guys. This is Bubba Weitzel. Bubba Weitzel is my 11-year-old son, and Bubba Weitzel is a cool dude. He's going to tell us a little bit about himself, his hobbies, what he's interested in. And I thought it would be fun to sit down with Bubba. His real name's Caleb, full disclosure. Sit down with Bubba, hear a little bit about him. Um, let him relax a little bit. He's going to tell us some stuff. And then I'm going to ask him some questions. Because, quite frankly, is there anyone more interesting than an 11-year-old boy that's into some really cool stuff that just likes to talk and has a great personality? Is there, Bubba? No. There's nothing like that, is there? No. So, Bubba, do me a favor. Okay. Tell us your age. Tell us your school. Tell us your hobbies. Tell us about yourself for a okay. minute. Um, I'm 11 years old. I was born, I'm 11 years old. I was born on July 18, 2008. I have an older sister that's, I have an older sister that is 13 years old. And Well, now hold on a second. Why are you telling us about your older sister? <laughs> the show is called What's Up, Bubba. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to get into detail with her. Okay. I'm just going right. to just say all right, carry on. You got a sister that's 13 years old. Yeah, we're this Tuesday we're getting a new cat named Echo. Tell me about Echo. Um, we went to the uh, Humane Society, whatever it's called, today. Found Echo. He loved us, so we got him. And then, so, I'm into sports. I'm more of a sportsy kid. And I like to play hockey. Used to play lacrosse, not as much into it anymore because I'm really bad at it now. <laughs> um, I've gotten into um, basketball. I've been shooting outside, and I've gotten really good. Um, I play soccer, and this season for wrestling, I'm gonna do wrestling. And so, I like doing activities, and I don't like sitting that much. You do like sitting though, at times. Well, yeah, it depends. What do time. you do when you're sitting? Watch YouTube. Well, what else? I eat chips. There's a thing. There's an obsession you've got. What's the game? Oh, um, I used. I sometimes play Fortnite. Sometimes. <laughs> and Call of Duty. Now, but sometimes, do you mean every day for well, hours at a time? I haven't been playing every day lately. So, Bubba, let's get back to some of your. Let's go specifically about some of the things you do because I appreciate that you're a sporty kid. You like activities. You seem to get into things. You're very. Would you say you're competitive? Yeah, when it comes to dirt biking. Yeah. So there's a that's something you left out, the dirt biking yeah, thing. Yeah, dirt biking. So let's talk about your activities. Mm -hmm. First of all, um, the 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 sports organized sports you play. You play currently. What will be the next sport you play? Hockey. Hockey is your next sport. Why? Or, what? Or wrestling. I don't remember if it starts before. I think it's hockey. So what is your what is what is it about hockey? How long have you been playing hockey? What position? Tell us about your hockey. So, I've been playing hockey. I well, I started getting into it when I would when I would go to my grandma's house in Chicago, Naperville. I would watch the Blackhawks with her, and I really Ooh. no Blackhawks are overpowered. First of all, I would watch the Blackhawks with her. And when I was watching with her, I would just really like it. And I was like, I want to play this. It looks super fun. So I played the sport. I got into it. And now I'm pretty good. I'm decent at it. And um, I play I play center in hockey. So I'm pretty much skating the whole rink and have the puck the most of the time. Um, probably one of the smallest kids on my team. Yeah, and I've seen you get thrown up against those boards and around that ice. Yeah. You get knocked around a lot. <laughs> so, okay, I know it's okay that you're a Blackhawks fan because the Red Wings are always better. But no, since no. that was your inspiration, hopefully you want to play better than the Blackhawks and play more like the Red Wings. Well, no, I don't want to play like the Red Wings because <coughs> the Red Wings just didn't get into the Stanley Cup this year. Okay, we'll move um, on. So I won't want to play with them, but I want to be – in the NHL. Uh -huh. Like, I want to be better How do you think, Caleb, in your head, when do you think you'll start in the NHL? Well, I'm hoping to get drafted for high school, but that's going to be super hard. I w most likely not, but if 
I don't, then I'm gonna go to college hockey. Maybe in high school I might play for varsity. Well, you will if well, you're yeah. good. I will. I'll probably make the team. If you're not get, if you're getting recruited at any point, you have to be on the varsity team in high school. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Okay, <laughs> Okay, so you're going to get recruited probably in high school, but maybe you have to go to college for it. Yeah. <clears throat> um, you go to a good Michigan college for hockey. And then, at what point, how old do you picture, imagine yourself being an NHL player? Um, I'd say Patrick King got in about, so he didn't, he didn't get drafted from high school, but he got drafted about two years in college. Mm -hmm. So... I'd say he was around 23, no, 20, 20 years old. Mm -hmm. I would get, I would try hoping to get drafted around that age. We'll fact check that for sure. We're going to look at what age he got drafted. Yeah, I okay. think it's around that time. But it's fine. You're, you're, we're just talking here. Yeah. So, all right, so you're going to go to play professional hockey, if not in high school, in college or after. Mm -hmm. You're going to play for the Blackhawks, or will you play NHL at any it's team? It's any, well, it's, you don't sign up for a team. It's the team that comes for you first. So you'll play for whatever team comes for you first. No, it depends on the team. Let me ask. So Tampa Bay Lightning. No. Um, the Oilers. No. Um, the Penguins. Yes. Red Wings. No. Red Wings. No. How about the Red Wings? <laughs> okay, <laughs> so you'll be on a losing team no matter what. Okay, let's move on from Black that. Hawks, let's definitely. move on from that topic. Tell me about your Golden Knights positive. Oh, that's a good team. Where are the Golden Knights at? Las um, Las Vegas Golden Knights. They but were, your mom and dad will not let you live ago, in Las two Vegas. Two years ago, they were no four or two years ago. One of those numbers. Four or two years ago. Four or two years ago. Oh. <clears throat> okay. They were. It, it's a new team. It's the newest team. So. So let's talk about. Can we talk about something else? Yeah. You have a new hobby that last year kind of that really took off. What is, what is And it? this year you really gotten into it and it's been a lot of fun. Dirt biking? Dirt biking. Yeah. How cool is dirt biking? I love it. I mean, it's fun. You get to do jumps. You get to fly in the air. Dirt biking is fun because, I mean, it, it's fun just <laughs> Don't because let your mom it's, hear that. it's a motorized vehicle that you're riding and not many kids get to do that. No, it's it's definitely like I've been special. practicing. I've been tr practicing trying to do wheelies on it. Mm -hmm. I've gotten up a little bit. So, what kind of dirt bike do you have? Do you know? Um, I have a KLX 110 CC. Okay. Gas powered, electric start, but my dad doesn't charge the battery on it. <laughs> um. So. <laughs> it runs really well. It does. It's run. like a 2017, I think. Is it? I don't know. What is it fast? Yeah, it's pretty fast. I, I, what's top speed? Do you know? I don't know. I think well, when we were following you that one day, you were probably doing about thirty-five or forty miles an hour. Yeah, but that was in top speed. That yeah. was in that was in second, third gear. So let me ask you: if if you gunned it, did you have more power in that? If I was in fourth gear, you, going as fast, full throttle, I would. Fifty. I would, Fifty? Sixty miles an hour? You know, let's look that like up. On the street. Write that down. On the street, down. I get in fourth gear. Shh. Uh, he was not on the street, people. He well, was not on the street. Well, we were driving oh, the track. <laughs> okay, um, on a track. I'm about going, for like a couple seconds, I'm going top full speed, and it feels super fast. Uh, I bet you can get to 50, 55. We're going to look that up, though. When we're looking up Patrick Kane info, we're also going to look up your top speed on that dirt on bike. KLX. Yes. Um... So, when you ride that thing, what is the goal when you're on it? Um, getting better. At what? Getting better at riding in general and getting comfortable more on the bike. Mm -hmm. I'm already pretty comfortable, but I just want to get more comfortable to turning fast. Yeah. And not like, gradually going in. So, you, you want to get more confident to, yeah. to depend so, on the bike to turn. I've been watching some videos, and they say doing some back wheel slide, sliding your back wheel uh -huh. and turning is best. It's like drifting? Kind of. It's good because you get turned faster, and once you learn in the herd, it's more comfortable than actually just turning. Does mom? Does your mom know that you're trying to turn faster? No, she doesn't. Okay, and we're not going to tell her that, are it's we? It's because it's behind the garage, and okay. she can't see it. Okay, good. That's probably the best place to learn and how to turn faster. And behind the trees, so she cannot see it. The, if mom had any idea that you were trying to turn faster, I feel like I'd be in trouble. Mainly me. Mainly you. 
she'd yell at you. She would take my dirt bike away. She would take your dirt bike away. Okay, so so you've gotten into this dirt bike. You're getting really good at turning, getting comfortable on the bike. What is kind of the next step with it? Um, next step would probably be better at getting more comfortable with being in the air on the bike. So doing jumps. Yeah. Or getting being able to do a jump on yeah, a lot of different surfaces. Yeah, being more comfortable mm-hmm. without thinking my feet have to come off of the thing. And being able to push down because it doesn't make a difference, and knowing how to jump and being safe with it. Yeah. No, oh, being safe. Yeah, I don't, wanna, I don't want to be not safe. Let's let your I'm mom just hear that part. Crack my head open. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, Mom, listen to the the audio at at moment marker ten minutes and five seconds, so that you can hear him talk about being safe as opposed to anything else. <laughs> is that a good idea? Yeah. And then we'll stop it there. Okay. Okay. So, um, all right, so here's a couple other things I want to talk to you about. Because one of my things I want, an 11-year-old little boy, I know that sounds juvenile, but an 11-year-old boy that's smart. Kind excited, of. Ex- no, you okay. Excited <laughs> about life, has an awesome sense of humor, obviously, um, is, can communicate. What is being 11 years old like? Um, it's like... Oh, it's hard to explain. What is, what is, in in your head, I mean, is 11-year-old... You, you feel more mature, first of all. You, you do? You feel like you can do more things on your own. Okay. Like, what things can you do at 11 that you can't do at 10? So, 10 years old, mom, you would allow this, but mom does not think I'm safe enough for anything. Does not think I'm responsible for every, anything. At 11 years old... There's a chance I might get a phone, <laughs> and I had responsibility to ride places where usually I won't be able to ride on bikes. And stuff. So are you are you not going to ride? Are you going to ride? At, or were you not riding at ten? Well, no, I was riding. I started around. I don't know. I've had a bike, a dirt bike, for a couple. I've had dirt bikes for a couple years now. Okay. I had about what? What is it? What was it? A CC? You had a fifty, 80. and then an eighty. Yeah, so I say about four years. ago. Well, your first three. dirt bike was way too big for you, Caleb. Yeah. Remember that bike yeah. we bought, and it was huge. huge. Yeah, that was a bad dad move. That was an excited dad move. So, Didn't do you think is life cool. hard as an eleven-year-old? No. What's the hardest thing about life as an 11 year old? School. School? School. What grade are you in? Sixth. And so is it just going to school? Is it learning? Is it's it language arts, first language of all. Arts. The teachers in language arts just want attention. Okay. Without saying anything mean about your teachers, <laughs> youngster, <laughs> um, what is it about language arts that's so hard? Um, I'm really bad at reading. You are not. Are you bad at reading? I hate reading. But do you know how to read? I know how to read. Okay. I'm just really not fluent with it. You don't know how to read? No, I cannot read five paragraphs at once. I'm I pretty would have sure. To stop at every paragraph. I'm pretty sure I saw you reading a book upside down the other day. Probably. And you acted like you were into it. But I probably wasn't reading. And you were just staring at the pages. Probably. But what's a class at 11 years old school? What's a school subject that's fun? Gym. Yeah, gym is fun. And no, never mind. What? Never mind. Dance class? Yes. Lunch? Tell me, is lunch, lunch is awesome. awesome? Lunch is amazing. What do you do at lunch? It's just the teachers in there are very strict about the rules. Well they have to be. Yeah, but it's like one of the one times of the day that we can have fun with our friends and actually talk about stuff. And what happens instead? Uh we get move seats. So you're in there, you're having a good time, you're laughing, you're... Because we're throwing food into each other's mouths. Okay, that's probably bad. Across the table. (laughs) Yeah, you can't do that. If if you were to get in trouble for that at school and it were to get back to your parents, what would happen? You would laugh. No. Yes, you would. You're that kind of guy that would laugh. I would laugh? Yes, you would laugh. I don't want to laugh. Mom would be the one going, hmm, I couldn't have bubba. And then you would be like, (laughs) you would be cracking up, you would be like... What? You did that with your friends, and then you'd say, don't do that anymore, but then you'd keep laughing about it, and you'd just give me a warning. But yeah. if I did it again, you would, like, slap me in the cheeks. No, I would not slap you in the cheeks. In the Oh, in the, the cheeks. booty cheeks. Yeah, oh, the those cheeks. cheeks. 
The biscuits. Yeah, the biscuits. Those biscuits can use some action. I'll tell you what, nothing straights a little boy out. Like a little slap on the biscuits. Or picking me up and throwing me on the couch. Or giving him a good throw across the room. <laughs> so, Caleb, one other thing I want to talk to you about <clears throat> before we get off here. And this has actually been fun. It's been 15 minutes long. We've been talking about this stuff, and I really appreciate you wanting to talk. Um, I want you to tell me what you're looking forward to in the upcoming months or weeks or whatever. Just tell um, me some stuff you're excited in about. In a couple months... What month is Christmas in? December. I'm not very good at my months. Uh -huh. So what month is it now? Uh, we're in the last day of August. So September. September. October. October. November. November. December. Yep. So four months away. I'm pretty excited because I might. There's a chance I'm gonna get a phone. You're gonna pull out a fake flip phone like you did with Mac, and I'm gonna. Cry. I'm not gonna cry like Mac did, but I'm. I'm gonna get annoyed but then i'm gonna be ready for you to go over to the popcorn machine and open a door and pull out a iphone so, iphone 24 whatever just to explain one of my favorite no, things thing. when i had children it gave me an opportunity to tease them and do pranks on them without repercussions and my favorite one today is when Mackenzie was to get a smart an, an iphone <laughs> which is easy i gave her a flip phone that was and pink, and it was like two dollars. It was so lame, and she opened it, and she was sweet, she and cried. she would she would have accepted it, but she had a little tear in her eye, and I let it drag on for a little bit, right? <laughs> you let it drag on for about ten minutes uh -huh. until she opened a couple more presents. Then you went over and said, "I have one for you, Bubba," mm -hmm. and then you pulled it out, and it was her phone. Yeah, and everything was okay then, right? Yeah. And she hasn't turned that phone off since. No, she's addicted to it. She's addicted she to it. She nonstop sits on it. She's watching YouTube and all that stuff, right? Yeah, bad shows. No, she's not. She watches nice shows. Okay, so Caleb, you're looking forward to Christmas. You're looking forward to hockey starting soon. Mm -hmm. You're looking forward to, um, is soccer in the fall or spring? I did not sign up for okay. fall Okay, Res wrestling, I'm sorry. Wrestling's coming up. Mm -hmm. You're playing the saxophone right now. Yeah, I'm really bad. That's okay, you're just learning though, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're playing the saxophone. you got a lot of stuff going on, man. For an 11-year-old kid, that's active. Yeah. Okay. Well, I appreciate talking to well, you. Well, first of all, the only reason I'm playing the saxophone is because I heard it makes you smarter at math. See, last year's math grade was a little bad. So I did that just the only reason to get better at math. Here. That's not true. You told it's me. It's scientifically proven. You told me that the only reason. Oh, yeah, because I get all the ladies. Um, the re yeah, you told me you were doing it for all the ladies, but is that true or not true? It's true. I mean, I mean in class, mm -hmm. they all swarm me and stuff. Because you play the saxophone. Yeah. Well, if they're smart, they'll hang tight because you're going to be an NHL player that rides cool dirt bikes and plays the saxophone. I mean, you're the total package. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, we got to end this. Um, this has been a lot of fun, Bubba. I really appreciate it. Maybe another time you'll do some ASMR for them. Yes, I'll do some of that for them. I don't know what you're talking about. but uh, ASMR is like getting up close to the mic and going, like, whispering in the mic, you know, tapping on the mic. Oh, I'll do some ASMR. It gets super annoying for me. For sure. I'll, uh, I'll do that. That's what you're known for, though. Hey, thanks for listening. What's up, Westfield? Bubba version. Uh, what's up, Bubba? And uh, this is sort of a practice, but it's been a lot of fun, and we look forward to doing a lot more. See you, Bubba. It's going to be a new series. That's right. See you, dude. Bye. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow. What's up, Westfield?